your teacher broadcaster. How are you today, class? I hope you are all doing well. And I'm pretty sure you are excited for our lesson. And with that, I welcome you to module under the first quarter of the most essential learning competencies in Physical Education 9, discussing the qualities of sports officiating. I hope all of you will find excitement and eagerness to learn in our discussions and activities today. So, let's just enjoy while going and learning together. Our topic for today is a continuation of Module 1 and 2. In this module, you will be given activities to help you develop and display your knowledge and skills in sports officiating. And we'll let you understand about the benefits of such activities for your well-being and fitness. Lastly, you can evaluate your learning through the application and post-assessment at the end of this module. Before we start, I would like to know if you have any idea about sports officiating. If not, then let me read to you the objectives to be achieved for the day's lesson. First, enumerate and discuss qualities of an officiating official. Second, prepare a sports activity program. Third, value the importance of involving oneself in community through sports officiating and other physical activity programs. So, as everybody ready? Let's start learning about this module. Good luck! With the latest advancement brought about by science and technology, it made our lives easier. But this also leads us to have an inactive lifestyle. A person needs to be healthy physically and mentally to meet the demands of our daily life routines and activities. To achieve this, we should actively participate in physical activities such as sports we shape. This module will introduce you to the sports officiating world, the basic that includes qualities of a sports official, personally and professionally. Sports officiating will help you develop and enhance your fitness, manage your skills, and to have positive behavior in life experiences and daily situations, which in return, you and your community will benefit. Everyone, Let's get started. Please try to do your best and answer our first class activity. It will only take a few minutes. Now, let's try this activity called Bullseye. What you need to do is target the word inside a dark board. The words are all positive characteristics or values a good officiating official should possess. Draw a dart-like pin using a crayon and the word that you think is the most important characteristic. Is integrity a good trait of a good officiating official? Being biased. Honesty. Fairness. How about rudeness? Finish? So how is it? Do you find it easy? Well, don't worry. Because as long as you were able to answer the given activity, then I'll consider the result. Then we will process your answers for you to understand the activity better. Before we proceed to our lesson proper, here are some guide questions for you to answer and for you to understand better the said activity. First, why did you choose the word you targeted? Second, why do you think it is the most important characteristic a good officiating official must possess? Now, you have a background on the topic to be discussed today. I want you to focus on the important points to ponder and remember. Qualities of an officiating official. First, physical qualities. Refers to the physical aspect of an officiating official. Since an officiating official needs to catch up with every detail of what the athletes or players do on court, he or she needs to be 
physically fit to perform his or her job well. So, what is physical fitness? Physical fitness refers to the ability of your body system to work together efficiently, to allow you to be healthy and perform activities of daily living without undue fatigue. Second quality, emotional quality. To perform the role of an officiating official, one should be emotionally ready in every game. He or she might have mastered all their moves and is physically fit. But if the emotional aspects are not stable, then it is difficult for the person to do his or her job. Confidence is one emotional attributes of an officiating official should possess. It means having belief in oneself. Confidence can be situation specific. It can be a big help through practicing an actual game and observations during game officiating. The third qualities, mental qualities, means being tough mentally. This requires one to stay focused, can handle pressure, awareness, and controls of thoughts and feelings, has command and control of the environment. This can be achieved by having thorough knowledge of the rules of the game. The last one is the social qualities. This refers to the ability of officiating official to handle and deal with others at any given situation. In a game, complaint can be avoided. It is the role of the officiating official to settle arguments or quarrels without sacrificing the integrity of the officiating teams and of the game. The qualities will guide and help you prepare a game plan or program when you have activities in your school or community. This game plan is called GRASS Method. You can use this GRASS Method in preparing a plan in your sports activity in school and in community. GRASS stands for Goal, Role, Audience, Situation, Product, and Standard. Here's an example of GRASS Template. Let us remember that qualities of an officiating officials are very important, such as number one, the role of an official is very important in sports. He or she defines the success or failure of a certain physical activity. The following are some of the qualities to be considered. Physical qualities, emotional qualities, mental qualities, and social qualities. As an officiating official, having good qualities, knowledge, and skills in sports officiating will not only help oneself, but also help and benefit the community. Participation in physical activities such as officiating is not only to manage a game in order to have a successful activity, but with the combination of having good qualities, knowledge, and skills, and having a healthy lifestyle, will surely lead us to reach and sustain a quality and healthy life. So, that ends our session for today. Congratulations! You have completed our lesson. Job well done, students! I hope you will continue learning for more lessons in physical education on the next quarter. Again, this is Maria Jade Estumula, your MAPI broadcast teacher. Thank you everyone and have a nice day.